Hey everyone, this is Bob, the cell phone professor in the Nerve Center at the Wirefly campus. And we are going to look at the new T-Mobile G2. This is the latest phone by T-Mobile. It's an Android phone. And as you can see, it's got a very nice touch screen. Rotate it this way and you can slide out the keyboard. It's actually a cross between a hinged and a slide out keyboard. Very nice, very nicely done. First, let's take a look at some of the basics about the G2. It is uh, compared to a credit card here, definitely a little bigger than a credit card. You can see it's a little thicker, of course, as you would expect for a slide out phone. While we're looking at this side, this is the button that you use for the camera. I'll talk more about the camera in just a moment. Uh, on top, you have the on-off switch for the cell phone. Over here is the standard 3.5 millimeter audio connection. On this side, you have your audio up-down rocker switch and a standard micro USB port. Of course, I mentioned that it has the slide-out or hinge-out keyboard, depending on how you want to think about it. In addition to the keyboard for getting around the screen, you have a tiny trackpad here, which works very well. And of course, since it uses Android 2.2, it has on-screen icons that you can click and touch, and it will put a keyboard on the screen as well. So as I said, this uses Android 2.2, and it also has uh, Google Apps built into it. So you've got pretty much one-stop shopping to get to your Google Gmail, Google Maps, and other Google features, including Google Voice. We'll take a little look at that later. I mentioned that it has a camera. It has a 5 megapixel still image camera. You can see that there is an LED light for it as well. For video, it can do 720p HD video, and we'll take a little bit of a look at an HD video from this camera shortly. Also with this phone, it comes standard with 4 gig of internal memory, and it has an 8 gig micro SD card. That SD card is under the battery, so to get access to it, you will literally have to take the back cover off and take the battery out. There is no external access to the card. However, this phone, this uh, T-Mobile G2, which by the way, as you can see, is made by HTC, has about the easiest access for under the cover of any phone I've seen. There's a little slider here. You slide the slider and the back pops right off. So you don't have to break a fingernail getting underneath the back. It also pops on very easily as well. So as I mentioned, there's the keyboard and that this has built-in Google Apps. Now I'm going to go back to the main menu by touching. Well, let's take a look at that. There are four dedicated keys here. There's a home key, a menu key, a go back key, and a search key. So I'm going to touch the main menu and it's going to go to the main menu. One of the icons on main menu simply says voice. I'm going to touch voice and that will take me to the Google Voice application where I left a message earlier today. It's being a little recalcitrant. There we go. Okay, so I left a message earlier today on Google Voice and um, I spoke it into the phone. I didn't do anything other than speak it into the phone and as you can see this actually reads out the text from the message that I spoke into the phone. Touch that and touch the speaker and you can hear that message by pressing the play button here. This is a test message for the new T-Mobile G2 phone to see how voicemail works. Hope it works well. Bye. And as you can see, it made one little mistake. Instead of phone, it said phoned past tense. So I thought that was pretty cool. So let's go back to the main screen. As I said, this uses Android 2.2, uh, also known as Froyo. So you have complete access to any app that's on the Android marketplace. And by the way, this is the first U.S. phone to use T-Mobile's uh, HSPA network that has speeds theoretically as high as 21 megabits per second. That means that this phone is, although they're calling it a 3G phone, it really can work at 4G speeds if you're in the right place and have a connection to T-Mobile's HSPA network. Uh, G2 uses the Snapdragon 
800 megahertz processor. Some of its competitors use a 1 gigahertz processor. So other phones can have a faster processor, but in my use so far of this phone, it has been pretty brisk, got me around quickly. I've had no problems in that regard. The LCD screen is a very bright and very pretty. It is LCD. The pixel count is 800 by 480, which is typical for Android phones. Let's take a look at how you get to the camera app on this phone. Just uh, swipe over and here's the camera app here. And now you have the camera. I have it selected to the still image camera right now. Just move this slider up here and now it's a video camera. There's a nice big button to allow you to uh, start and stop the video. And if you want to see the video that I recorded, I'll go ahead and play that now. Now uh, our weather outside is gray and damp. It's been raining off and on all day. So the, uh, it's kind of breezy. So uh, it made so much rumbling noise with the microphone that I decided I'm just going to show the video and not uh, play the sound from that demo that I shot earlier today. The sound was really unusable. Uh, so if uh, the bottom line on that is if it's breezy when you're shooting, you're definitely going to get some bad audio. So uh, now we're back on the camera. Back to the main menu, and that's a quick review of the new T-Mobile G2. A pretty nice looking, fairly heavy and hefty feeling cell phone that uses the very high speed of T-Mobile's HSPA network. I'm Bob, the Cell Phone Professor. Thanks for stopping by. That's it today from the Nerve Center of the Wirefly Campus. Thank you.